Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Grumpy Old Gamers Podcast. You can't teach an old gamer new tricks. I'm Ryan, and I'm on my own today. <laughs> Here all by my lonesome. Rob's, uh, Rob's off doing some stuff, so he wasn't able to join us. Which, uh, you know, it's cool. We're going to try out some different stuff here. Uh, yeah, so first off, um, Rob did something similar to this the, a couple of times that he was on his own, where he was kind of showing off uh, showing off uh, the articles as we were going. Uh, you know, shoot us an email. Let, let us know if you like this on the video format, or if you just like staring at our two ugly mugs uh, bantering back and forth, because, you know, we like that too. Uh, yeah. So, ah, yeah, weird. I could buy, I gotta slow down, I think, because I end up uh, just burning through this thing like nothing. <laughs> okay, so first up, let's, uh, let's talk about, well, our webpage for one. This is the grumpyoldgamers.com if you've never visited it. Uh, you know, we got our, got all our stuff, we got the posts. Yeah, you guys know how a web page works. Anyways, why I wanted to come here <laughs> is uh, round one of the favorite console is done. Um, so the last two battles that ended up happening this week were TurboGrafx-16 versus Neo Geo. And TurboGrafx-16 won. And uh, Wii versus Wii U. And the Wii. The Wii, uh, the Wii took that one like uh, nobody's business <laughs> so uh right after i'm done recording this today i'm gonna shoot a quick video for the start of round two and the very first battle in round two is the nes versus the super nes yeah yeah some people uh some people are gonna have to make some tough choices with that one but uh you know i'm we've been having a lot of fun with this and uh i'm glad you know, um, super happy with all the participation that's happened. It's been, uh, it's fun. I love, I don't know, I, I don't know why I love tournaments and the voting and stuff like that. I just, uh, I guess like interacting with people, uh, people's opinions. We've had lots of, uh, lots of great stuff come out of the comments and whatnot on these polls. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we'll do something like this again. Maybe, uh, Maybe shoot us an email at uh, makeusgrumpy.com if you'd like to see another tournament. You know, maybe um, Sega games versus NES games or, you know, the favorite NES game of all time or, um, yeah, favorite game of all time. Who knows? Maybe we'll just take the top. Oh, that's a great idea. I just had take the top 32 games on, like, Metacritic and uh, have everyone vote out of that. Huh? Yeah. All right, <laughs> just had an idea right here live. Um, oh, we're not going to show that yet. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to move right on into news. First bit of news is that uh, Twitch Prime, which is the Twitch service you get with your Amazon Prime, is being renamed to Prime Gaming. Um, probably just uh, to get everything on brand, get everything, you know, you know, there's Prime Video, Prime Music, now there's Prime Gaming. Uh, I don't think the name Twitch is going away. It's just going to be um, part of it. But I was reading in here that, uh, yeah, apparently uh, uh, Amazon is working on something like uh, Stadia or xCloud, their own kind of game streaming service. So that'll probably probably tie all these together. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, not that. That's not working. Right here. This was big news this week. Um, yeah, Microsoft delayed Halo Infinite to 2021. So it won't be a launch title with the Series X. Uh, which, I don't know. Would you rather see it cooked a little longer and have a you know, a better game, or would you want it launched with your console? That's the whole, you know, back and forth balance with it, but I think there's enough negative, uh, negative, um, comments, and just, uh, how people saw it after, um, you know, at that Xbox event, 
and so I think it's a smart decision. Um, I'm really not a Halo expert. I have played the first one for a couple hours, and that's pretty much the extent of my uh, Halo experience. So I'm really, but you know, uh, maybe this is maybe this will be the good time to hop in on it. It's it's sounding like it's going to be uh, kind of like a um, uh, I was going to say divinity. That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, it's going to be more like an MMO. Destiny. New is a D word. It's going to be a more like a Destiny game. It's going to be just a constantly living and evolving game. So, uh, yeah. You know, good, good bad news, we'll call that one. What do we got next? Oh, <laughs> so, Last of Us 2 had a patch this week. And, uh... Yeah, they added um, two new modes. Grounded mode, which is the absolute hardest mode of the game. Um, yeah. And then there's permadeath, which is exactly as it sounds. What you, If you die as you're playing, that's it. That's as far as you've made it. So, <laughs> you know, if you weren't emotionally scarred enough uh, from playing this game, then, you know, you can add play one of these two fun modes that you know, make everything <laughs> even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, that game. That game. Um, I don't know if you can hear snoring in the background, but my, uh, my dog's back there. Just snoring away. <laughs> so, hopefully the mic isn't picking that up too much. <laughs> um, so, this was an interesting one. So Control is going to be putting out an Ultimate Edition with the release of their second expansion. And uh, as a headline here, it's going to include free upgrade to Series X and PS5. Current owners will not be included. So if you have the game and expand the first expansion, you're not included in this. So my question is, isn't um, this kind of what the whole point of this new generation was going to be um, that anything kind of coming out now. Uh, well, I know I know Control came out over a year ago, but there's been all the hubbub about that your versions of the game will be, you know, will be playable and everything on the new generations. So um, maybe this just means like. But still, uh, you know, Xbox seems like they're trying to get rid of the whole double dipping on a game. You know, you've bought your, you know, your Halo whatever on this current gen. And you can plug it in on your Series X and still play it with the improved graphics and everything. Um, so this was, I don't know if it's concerning or just not my full understanding of... Uh, of what the, what's being promised in the new generation, like with all the backwards compatibility and everything. So, be uh, if this is something to watch, definitely see how it uh, see how it all ends up playing out. <laughs> Nisha, Nisha. <laughs> I scared her. She stopped. So, this was big news. I loved, uh, I loved these games on my, uh, on the GameCube. The, uh, the Def Jam Fight for New York. <laughs> They're just, you know, great silly fun, but, uh, Def Jam Recordings, uh, put up a Twitter post. And, um, it says once it hits one million, we'll have a special announcement for y'all. Um, I haven't heard anything more, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, I, I hope there's a new new version coming out because it's just good fun. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? So this was the biggest story of the week. Um, so Fortnite uh, Epic Games decided to start offering um, 
their currency in app on on Apple phones and everything. Um, I got emails, you know, saying that their credits are at a reduced price now because they're selling them at the at the actual price with um, the Android and Apple stores, you know, thirty percent taken off. So as soon as Apple got word of this, they they um, they removed the app, but they didn't shut it down. So anyone who has it already on their phone can still play it, but um, there'll be no more updating the app, and there'll be no more if you know you <laughs> if you're gonna go download it just to see what was going on with all of this, uh, you won't be able to do that either. Um, and then they uh, they off um, they also released this, which <laughs> if you uh, if you haven't seen it, so they uh, they made fun of. Oh, you know what? It's only forty eight seconds. I don't think the audio will go through though. That's uh oh no. Here we go. So you kind of get the feeling that they knew exactly what was going to happen and uh, <laughs> and uh, had this little video, obviously making fun of the, the Apple 1984 uh, commercial that made them famous where they were uh, breaking, breaking away from the, from, you know, the man and everything. So that's, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> um... And I'm not 100% if the sound came through on that. It came through on my end. I'm not sure if it showed up on the recording. But uh, if it didn't, um, then we have 48 seconds of silence there. <laughs> and uh, and um, you should really check it out because it's great. Um, hopefully they will, you know, make, make uh, Apple rethink their 30% off the top of everything they sell. Uh, you know, the Epic, the whole, it was the whole reason they launched their own gaming store. I mean, there's lots of stories and opinions about whether the Epic Game Store made gaming better or worse, but, uh, you know, they, uh, they give more to the developers. Kinda. Again, do some reading. All right, uh... That was all the news. Man, I, without banter back and forth, I just blew through that. <laughs> um, so, what I'd, uh, what I'd like to talk about uh, next is uh, when you're doing a podcast, you should always remember to put your phone on silent. So you don't get texts while you're recording. I get busted for that all the time. Rob busts me for that. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that was it for news. I am going to move into what I've been playing. So, I finished it this week. I finished up Last of Us 2. Um, last, uh, it's been almost a week now. It was last Tuesday I finished it up. Um, I, uh... I thought I was a little closer than I actually was because uh, last episode I talked about how I was sure it was right at the very end, but um, just wasn't still a little bit more to go. Um, how do I feel after playing this? The that last you know hour of the game, it it tests like every every bit of your moral moral fiber. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely get some, like, different views of everything. Uh, so, all I can say is that if you enjoyed the first one, 
and you want to play a seriously adult, uh, deep, like, you know, just emotional story, play Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I will not be going back anytime soon to play it again. I may in a while unlock the game plus, may play through it again that way and try and get some more collectibles or something. You know, when I get through my <laughs> giant backlog of uh, games. Uh, but, you never know, maybe I'll get a, maybe we'll get a, a craving to, uh, to punish myself <laughs> with some gaming. So, yeah, Last of Us Part 2, it was, uh, it's a journey. That's really the best way to put it. It's, it's a journey. So, I had to start playing something else, and I fired up Jedi Fallen Order again. Uh, <laughs> this is the third time that I've restarted it. Um, I don't know what it is, like... I enjoy playing it when I'm playing it, but even something a little shiny shows up on the, on the horizon there, and I just have no problem dropping this game. I don't know if it's because, like, I love Star Wars so much, and I I kind of I kind of get that feeling like if I finish this game, it's done, and I'm not, uh, and then it'll just be done. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of stupid, but. Uh, yeah, but I also, I want to finish it, I want to, I want to see the story, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I did play it all week, um, I was away on the weekend, not in town, so I didn't do any game playing, but, uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna stick to it this time, I'm gonna finish it, get through this whole thing, and just finish her up, but, the first bit I played again, um, where it re-familiarizes you with the controls and everything. Uh, watching this video here, I can't wait to get to this part. Looks like you're in an ad app, just blowing everything up. See, that makes me excited <laughs> to get keep playing this game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully by next week. Yeah, maybe not. I've heard it's like a 25-hour game that... Uh, I'll be able to, so in two weeks, should have it all wrapped up. How about that? So, this has been, uh, this has been the Grumpy Old Gamer's Speedrun Edition. Holy crap. I'm at 18 minutes. Whew. I didn't really take a breath there, did I? <laughs> That's fair enough. So, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna drag this out. I gave you your news, news and rapid fire there, and um, yeah, so watch out for round two starting today, which is Monday, when I'm recording this. Uh, who knows when I'll get this video up, it'll probably be later tonight though. And uh, yeah, I will, or sorry. You can uh, check out more of our stuff at thegrumpyoldgamers.com. I showed you our webpage there. <laughs> and uh, we post all of our original content there. And, uh, yeah, check out our Facebook. That's where all, you know, we post a lot of the current news and, uh, you know, the polls. We, while we're doing them here, we have them pinned at the very top of the page, first thing you see. That's where, that's where this round two will start. And, uh, yeah, so... Thanks everyone for uh, checking in and uh, have yourselves a good day.